six of sun's dusk. I quickly took care of my two new marks, resorting to simple throat-cutting techniques to eliminate them. To make up for those boring kills, I made some excitement for myself through mass murder in both Morthal and Solitude. It was so easy to do, just cast mayhem and watch as the darker side of human nature took over. It always did. I even hit a new record in Solitude, with the death toll hitting 27 before it was all done. It was a very satisfying day. I spent another day in Solitude resting and resupplying at my home. It seemed like a good idea to give Astrid a couple of days to get used to our new situation. I hoped that she wasn't going to turn on me. I'd hate to have to kill her. When I got back to the sanctuary, Astrid intercepted me before I even got down the entry stairs. She was very eager to speak with me, but her motivation for doing so was unclear. <sighs> of course, Astrid. I assume you want to talk about this whole listener business. Look, I can't change what happened and I'm not making it up either. The Night Mother spoke to me while I was in that coffin, and she told me to find this Amand Motier in Valenrood. Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. Aye. And I think we'd both agree. Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. <laughs> True. So go. Go to Valenrood. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Aye, thank you, Astrid. She claimed to be concerned about disobeying an order from the Night Mother. However, the tense atmosphere among my fellow assassins suggested otherwise. Sister? Astrid feared my power. That much I could discern for myself, even if it hadn't been confirmed by Gabriella. If the Night Mother truly spoke to you, if you really are the listener, your destiny was written in the void. Astrid is right to fear your power. As the listener, right, I could override Astrid, and my word would Hello, become the bit. new Any law. Any advice for me, Fleabag? Uh -huh. The listener wants my counsel. I thought you were above the opinions of mere mortals, now that you commune with dead old women. Ugh. I knew that it was a bitter pill for someone like her to swallow, and I really did not trust her to accept it readily. Just remember Astrid's commitment to her sanctuary, but to her family, the Night a said... family that now counts you as one of its own. <sighs> Honor Astrid above all others. In some ways, she reminded me of Mercer, and I certainly had Stay not safe. forgotten how that had turned out. Some of my brothers believed that I'd been chosen so by the Night the Mother. Listener, eh? Well, that hardly seems fair. You just got here. The Night Mother should have spoken to me. Any idiot could see that. <laughs> but I will serve gladly, as that's my life. Festus was life. even jealous Blessing. that it yeah. wasn't him. Volenrood. Well, that's an old crypt, infested with Draugr, so plan accordingly. Thank you, Festus. Remember, fireballs. You can never go wrong. <laughs> Others suggested that I was losing my sanity and the voice was nothing uh, more your, than an invention you, of my of own broken mind. You may be the listener, or you may just be a lunatic who's started hearing voices. Either way, Astrid is still your mistress, not the Night Mother. 
<sighs> Any advice for me, Babette? The man you need to speak with. His name is Motier. That's a very old and powerful Breton family. Oh? Firmly established in Sierradale. Most curious. Oh, thank you, Babette. But regardless of what they thought about me being the listener, everyone seemed to be in agreement that I had to follow the command I'd been given. I was to meet the man named Amand Motier, apparently a member of one of the oldest and most powerful families in Cyrodiil, in the ancient crypt of Valenrood. Astrid showed me its location on the map, far to the northeast, and I left for the journey shortly after arriving back at the sanctuary. The situation there was no longer comfortable, and I did not think it was in my best interests to stick around. Yeah, let's go. 